My name is Michael Atkins, and I'm the new executive director of the Atlantic City Arts Foundation. Uh, I'm excited to take on this position and work with my neighbors and the artistic community of Atlantic City to provide more opportunities to experience art and more opportunities for folks to exhibit their art and creativity in Atlantic City. This wall right here will be the 100th mural of the Atlantic City Arts Foundation paints. Uh, we're looking to have an unveiling uh, this fall, so stay tuned. Uh, we'll be publishing that date and inviting the entire public to come and join us that day for that celebration. I do. Evan, do we have... I didn't see a preview from Manny. Do we have any floral... Um, we don't yet, so we should have the preview um, this week. And uh, it's going to be positive, it's going to be vibrant, it's going to be community-oriented, um, it's going to be beautiful uh, here at the Garden at Cardinal. Like, we want something that just really pops and uh, makes you smile uh, and is uh, really representative of, like, the work that we've done, been doing with the Arts Foundation for the last 99 murals, which is really around community, Atlantic City, positivity. So it'll be a lot of that here on the wall yeah. as well. I mean, the arts are essential to building public consciousness, giving people the ability to see others' creativity. It can also give a sense of place. You know, um, it's, it en enhances our quality of life to look around and see great contributions from artists uh, when you're enjoying a meal or walking, walking the city or, or even driving through it. I think public art gives uh, a sense of pride as well. I think the beautification of the loop and the city as a whole, there's a lot of pride that comes from that. And you know, people that when they're watching the work happen, they're inspired by it. I think when they see the work at the end, they're inspired by it. But I think it's a, a real inspiration to the people that are creating and then the other people that are living here or coming, like Michael said, to dine or just enjoy whatever activities they may have here in the loop. Yeah, and for my part, you know, I think there's a really great thing going on already, you know, and we're looking to expand and build upon that. I'm very grateful and fortunate that so many folks contributed to building an art scene in Atlantic City, that the foundation is a part of that, and that, um, yeah, to me, there's just a, a lot of opportunity to continue to draw folks uh, locally into the art scene, continue to find other exhibition opportunities, expand to different types of arts, visual art, performing arts, um, yeah, and to continue to be a, a hub for creativity in South Jersey. You know, like I chose to move back to New Jersey for a reason and I'm choosing to plug back into here. Um, and and I'm, I'm very excited for everything that can come. Atlantic City should and is becoming much more of that hub. I've always felt like Atlantic City should be South Jersey's city and we really need yeah. to create a, a vibrant city and um, have arts, arts are a core part of that, a foundational part of it. So I think that over the last decade almost now, we've been doing a lot of good work um, and Michael will just, uh, I think, take us to that next level.